beginner's flow using blocks to wake us up. Not for the blocks to wake us up, but an easy flow for waking up in the morning. So let's start in child's pose with our hands on the blocks. So dropping the belly down onto the thighs, the buttocks towards the heels, and opening up the shoulders and sending the armpits down towards the mat and allowing the forehead to gently rest on the earth. So closing the eyes for one minute here, just remaining still, noticing the breath. Really notice the flow of the breath in and out to lead us in to this present moment, to become aware of the here and now. So noticing yourself on your mat, and noticing fully this moment, this new morning, this fresh new start, a new beginning. And then noticing gratitude, nurturing gratitude, gratitude for a new day, a new start, and each new breath, one after the other, and one moment, one present moment after each other. So taking a nice deep breath in through the nose, fill the lungs. Open the mouth and sigh the breath out. <sighs> Two more, deep breath in. <sighs> New breath in. And exhale, release anything that doesn't serve you. <sighs> On your next breath in, push into your blocks and begin to ripple the chest forwards, expanding and doming the space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, and exhale back to Charles. Do that two more times. Inhale to ripple the chest forwards. Scoop the belly up and begin to squeeze into your pelvic floor and draw navel to spine. Exhale, release. Move the blocks aside. And then do that one more time. Inhale, ripple the chest forwards. And then tucking the toes. Exhale, hover the knees. Squeeze navel to spine. And then lifting the hips up. Let's pedal our legs a few times, stretching out the backs of the legs, the lower legs. And then taking some really small steps. Keep stretching and pedaling the legs. Let's walk the feet up to the hands to the top of the mat. Take a generous bend in your knees and take opposite elbows, a little sway side to side. And then nod your head yes, shake the head no, and then draw some circles, one or two in each direction with the nose. Just releasing any tension in the neck first thing in the morning. And then let the arms hang heavy, the shoulders a generous roll and shake. And then start to peel your spine up from the base. Stacking the spine, vertebra by vertebra, to pull yourself up to standing nice and slowly with the head arriving last. Up the top. Let's take some shoulder rolls. Five each direction. Then five the other way. Big circles with the shoulders, just allow the hands, arms to hang heavy, releasing any tension. Then bringing the feet a little closer together, big toes touching, spread the toes wide, squeeze into the thighs, and then we're going to reach up to the sky. 
taking your left hand, pointer finger and thumb to make a circle around the wrist. Take a breath in, reach to the sky. And then exhale, reaching over to the left. Inhale to center. Switch sides, so circling the left wrist with the right pointer finger and then breath in to reach to the sky. Then exhale, send your hips to the left and your arms to the right. Let's do that one more time. So switch sides, inhale to reach up. Engage into your abdominal area. Inhale to center. Slow, steady breaths in and out through the nose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Curving over to the right. It's like you're creating a C shape, a banana shape with the body. Inhale to center. Exhale, float the arms down. Then inhale to reach the arms up. Let's keep the hands together this time. And step your left foot across the, the right, so it's in front. Create that C shape, C shape to the left. Big breath in. Switch over to the other side. So taking your right leg and foot across the left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Other way. Exhale, inhale, last side, right across left as you reach over to the right with a big breath out and then inhale to center, float the arms into the hands together, so creating your cactus arms, inhale, reach up. Look up to the hands, exhale, into cactus, open the chest, open the heart. Let's do that three more times. Exhale. Inhale, look up, squeeze into the thighs. Exhale, one more. Inhale, and exhale. Draw the arms back down by their sides. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, hands together. Prayer hands, Atmanjali Mudra. This is Samastitihi. Inhale to reach up. Take a little micro back bend. Hips forwards, arms back. Exhale back to heart center with the hands. Inhale, let's do that three more times. Flow and move with your breath. Breath in through the nose. Hips forwards, arms back. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Just sending the hips forward just a little bit and the arms back a little bit. Nothing too dramatic. Exhale. Back to summer city here. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive down. Two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive down. And then reaching up. Back to Samastitihi. Take a big step out to the side. Keeping your hands like this. Then it goes side to side. Three more. And then back to center. Turn your right foot out and your left foot in. And then reaching the arms into warrior two position. 
bending into the front leg. So check your front foot lines up with the back inner arch. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach up. Switch the feet round. Exhale, warrior two, the other side. Inhaling and exhale, soften into the face and shoulders. Breath in to straighten your front leg and flow over to the other side. Into warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So checking your knees and rolling in. Keep that knee tracking over the ankle. Look to the front hand with your drishti, your gaze. Inhale, switch, exhale. One breath in and out. Inhale, back up. And let's go into extended side angle. So taking forearm to thigh, diagonal reach, look up to beyond the arm to the sky. Big breath in and then exhale, sending the left hand behind the back, reaching the right arm along by the ear, look up and then back to extended side angle. Yeah, back to reverse and then side angle and then reverse. Windmill, the right arm round back to warrior two. Let's switch sides. So extended side angle. So making that diagonal shape with the side of the body. This is Uttita Pars Vakanasana, extended side angle. And then reverse. So right hand behind the back, reach to the left side. Yeah, side angle. Hold something precious in that left hand. Gaze to the sky. Side angle. And then one more each way. Keep the Ujjayi breath flowing in and out through the mouth, in and out through the nose, sorry. And then back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, switch. So now you have both legs straight and your, your right foot is facing forward and your left foot is turned in a little bit. Reach to the right, jutting the left hip. And then taking a block on the outside of your right foot, coming into triangle pose. Really squeeze into the thighs, into the glutes. Bend in the front leg, look to your front foot and then circle the arms. So look into the front foot. The other way. And then we're going to bend into the front leg and take your block round to the other side. So block on the outside of the left foot, reaching the right arm up to the sky. Squeeze into the side waist. Look up to your top hand. Three more breaths. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. And then look down to your front foot. Big circles, five each way. Bend into the front leg. Take your block with you. And take your blocks together, two blocks together. 
feet a little wider apart and the feet parallel now to the edges of your mat. So you have your blocks, you're gonna press your hands, shoulder distance apart. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out, elbows squeeze towards each other, drop the head. Breathe in, press, press into the block, flat back. Exhale, bend the elbows, drop the head down. Let's do that three more times. Squeeze and lift, navel to spine. Exhale to come down. Hug your elbows close. One more inhale. And exhale. And then take your blocks a little closer together, side by side. Breath in, reaching right arm up, left hand down on the block. Exhale. Inhale, switch sides. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and coming down, press the hands together, squeeze the head down towards the blocks. Elbows hugging tight. And then pushing into the blocks. Heel toe the feet closer together. So now we're going to come into a seated on the blocks malasana. So take one block, feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. I might need to send the block on its long end to come into Malasana, sitting on the block so supported. Have one block to the center, and then reaching the arm back, back to the block. Reach the arm back, back to the block. Reaching. And then hands together. Pushing the knees open, lifting the chest. Drishti to a spot in front. Three more breaths. Bringing your hands forwards. Straighten up the legs. And forward folding with the hands on the blocks. So feet hip distance apart. Pushing firmly into the blocks. Really stretching into the backs of the legs. Hinging from the hip creases. Two more breaths. Release the arms, shoulders. No tension. But feeling that connection with your blocks. And then bending into the knees, slowly folding up, rolling up to standing. Take one block to the side of the right foot. You can even take two side by side. So you take a little balance before we finish. So wrapping the left leg over the right leg and bringing the toes to touch on the blocks. So the left leg on top, so it means the left arm goes underneath. Lifting the arms to the sky, squeeze navel to spine. Three more breaths. Lift the arms a little higher. Draw in belly, draw in your pelvic floor. And slowly release. Take the blocks to the other side. So now the right leg is on top of the left. Toes touch onto the block. Squeeze the thighs to each other. Right arm under left. And inhale to reach up. Five breaths in total. In and out through the nose. Squeeze navel to spine. Uddiyana Bandha. Pelvic floor lifts. Mula Bandha. Two more breaths. Arms reach up a little bit higher. 
the last breath in and out and slowly unwind the arms and the legs. Coming down back to child's pose. Take your blocks, place the hands on the blocks. Dropping the head to the floor. And then setting your intention for today. I am. So finding your intention that resonates with you. Something very clear and definite in your inner mind's eye. And repeat, I am in this present moment, in the present tense. To yourself. Nice breath in, either sitting on the heels or taking a block between the buttocks and the heels. Just creating that little space so you don't take so much tension in the knees. Take your hands to your heart center. Draw navel to spine. And then drawing your head your mind to your heart in full coherence, bowing your head to your heart. The light in me honors the light in you. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Thank you. See you here soon.